Because uh, uh, feng shui is uh, have two different. One is visible, okay. one is invisible. Visible is uh, mean the layout, okay. with the outside layout and inside interior floor plan. And the uh, invisible is uh, we calculate the energy when you build a house. Uh, it, for example, is a sear box. You, when you open the door, then the energy start distributed different way. Then we have the east, we have west, we have north, we have south, right? So that generally, if it, if it is just close by, there's no east, west or something. So the energy starts distributed. Um, I want to welcome um, Roger Lan, uh, Feng Shui Master, to the studio. Thank you. Thank you for coming in, Roger. Thank you. Um, you are an expert on Feng Shui. Uh, yes. And um, most people don't even know what Feng Shui is. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, most of them, they, they don't know. Yes. So, but so they heard about that. Yeah, everybody, I think Western society thinks it's painting one wall or doing something very um, simple, right? Uh -huh. So what, 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 what is Feng Shui? Yeah, most of the Western people know uh, the Feng Shui. Maybe they think about that's color or color, favorite color, or uh, how do they make uh, things uh, uh, more harmony, more peaceful. Uh, actually, Feng Shui uh, is from long time ago from uh, uh, China. China, because the, why have Feng Shui? Because the Feng Shui in Chinese world is uh, wind and water. Okay. Okay. Uh, which is, uh, uh, but Feng Shui they start from long time ago because the why they create Feng Shui because the the king want to build their palace, want to build the village. They want to have a long, uh, last long, long time. They want to be rich. They want to be uh, keep, you know, uh, uh, it's just like a, they want to keep the good energy. So like, like good luck. Yeah, good luck. A and uh, good uh, karma. Or exactly. Okay. Yeah, like I said, uh, uh, this day, uh, rich people want to build their own house. They want to get long time, right? They yes. want to, for the care, for the generation. Uh, many generations they keep the rich and uh, uh, every, uh, successful, right? The same thing is a long time ago. But to get a good feng shui is very difficult. Let me explain to you because to, to get a good feng shui, first you have to find a piece of land. Okay. Then surrounding the area is a require a lot of uh, they need a lot of element okay. to keep, uh, consist of the good energy. Uh, so what we say left and right and back and front. So uh, you have to kick it very accurate. Then you have to choose uh, the, build, the building, where the direction they go to. So that, they also have to very, ca uh, kick, uh, uh, very carefully. Then you have to uh, measure it very carefully because the one angle is wrong and totally wrong. But th now this is when people are buying land, right? Uh, the, the, right, the land and uh, the build the house. I mean, I mean, the good feng shui, they have to, uh, uh, get a very good uh, calculate. Is, is there levels of feng shui where like the people who are saying, okay, I want to build a land versus someone buying a house mm -hmm. versus somebody living in an apartment? Yes, yes. So yeah, the, because uh, you, you see uh, the, the the previous uh, like a king, they build the palace or village, they have the very uh, detailed uh, calculation. So this day, everybody, the builder, the build house, they just build whatever they want, right? Yeah. So how can you get a good, Energy. If you want to get a, a get a good feng shui, you have to be lucky enough, right? Yeah. yeah. If you don't have not lucky <laughs> enough, how can you get like a, before they have to you take years to find a good land, build their empire, right? Yeah. So this day you find, just trying to find a house, and and so, so this day the old house mostly I would say most of the house have problem because the builder doesn't know feng shui, so they just build what they would want. That's why I, I have been visit so many houses, they all have a problem. At least uh, every time, single one house, at least I'll find like 20 problems. So, so now is it the, 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 where the sun comes up to hit the house? Is this, mm -hmm. is this how it is? Like the house should be facing like a specific angle, mm -hmm. like south or east or? Oh, uh, that's one thing because uh, the, the, in the world, the real thing, the feng shui, it affected the sun and moon. Okay. Because, but the uh, sun and moon, of course, but, the, you know the earth is turning, the yes. self is turning. Yes. They follow the sun. 
So energy shifting. So the feng shui for the house, every 20 years different. Mm. Every 20 years. Wow. But our life, our life, um, every 10 years different. You, you can feel like last 10 years what I do and this 10 years what I do is different. Uh, maybe uh, uh, this 10 years I, I just marry and, and next 10 years I have a lot of kids. I have two kids, yeah. three kids. And next year I have so, 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 so a good business and something like that. So maybe uh, next 10 years I lost job. So every 10 years different for our uh, people's life. But for the feng shui wise, the house, every 20 years di different. That's why we say uh, rich people, uh, they cannot survive three generations. Because, oh, okay. <laughs> because the house feng shui change. Got it. So this 20 years may be good, and the other 20 years good, but next 20 years not good. Wow. So, so, so you, let, me, let me ask you a question. So like Western society, mm -hmm. like when they're just building houses and he goes, I bought this land, I just put these houses up. Right. Now, um, like ha, ha, this is in Eastern t culture, they still, do, they still acknowledge this, but mm -hmm. Western society is oblivious to this. Why do you think that th they're not uh, understanding or they're not paying attention to this? Uh, Western culture, they, they pay attention on the entertainment. Okay. They want to have fun. They want to have a beautiful house. That's why you see, uh, you see most of rich people, you know, they build maybe even they build their own castle yes. right, on top of the mountain. Yes. Right? Uh, Europeans have a lot of uh, castle. And the United States have a lot of houses built on the top of the mountain as yeah. well. Because you see, most of rich people, uh, most, most likely they only have a, maybe one people or two people live there. <laughs> maybe kids not wrong. That's right. Because they cannot accumulate any, maybe a lot of, uh, lot of nice house, they have a nice view in the backyard. Got it, got right? it. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Not the front yard. Not the front yard. Good feng shui is a good front yard, have got to be uh, wide open. Because, see, I sit down here, you see wide open, the future is unlimited. Got it. But your back, back is uh, unlimited, open. Because in feng shui, the backyard is for kids. That's why kids won't stay with you. The family won't stay with you. And so if your backyard is view, that's for only retired people because kids maybe go busy for their own career. They won't stay with you. So also so if your backyard is view, which is no kids around. <laughs> so if I, if I don't have a backyard, the kids will stay with me forever? <laughs> <laughs> no. no. Okay, one thing is very funny because I have a customer, yeah. uh, they uh, invite me to check their home. Uh, home so because they just buy a new brand new house yeah the backyard is even not established yet okay is a uh, dirt when i go there um, first thing i would say uh since your backyard is dirt yeah. and your kids won't listen to you because the kids still young like a uh, teenage or uh, uh, like a yes and um then then the parents smile yes yeah because because if your backyard is dirt which is a uh, you don't have a backyard at all yeah and you don't uh, you don't plant tree you don't have flower whatever you don't make nicely kid won't listen to you wow that's true right because wow. uh, i think the audience that listen least they can think about if you you for uh, like a cloud or a junk in the backyard the the kids won't listen to also you won't save any money interesting yes that's true so so, um, so you're saying that it has to be very um organized Organized, you gotta plant trees. If you have old tree, also also is backyard is considered is a, a, a people supporting you because if you don't have big tree or you don't have a like you, you only have view, which is you don't have a backup, you don't have a backing, which is like a chair, you don't have a backup, you yeah. you're gonna fall. Yeah. So eventually your business is gonna fall. Oh. Because you don't see stable, right? So so that, so you wanna have a because in uh, in all feng shui, feng shui theory, uh, we want to have a backing. We want to, when we build a castle or a big house, we want to have something uh, on the back, even a small hill or something yeah. taller than your house, so they can back in uh, on you. You know, the one thing in the series, uh, uh, funny is, uh, I, uh, if your house here, uh, most of the corner house, yeah. corner house, which is uh, the, the corner house, the uh, first one or the last one, the corner house, you, you if all, only a single parent live there. No, if it's a married couple, most likely eventually they are 
fighting each other or they divorced. Wow. Yes, you can <laughs> go. Yeah. It's uh, very uh, accurate. You can, uh, I always say 95% is the same. Right. Even though they probably live together, probably they we fight each other. Yeah. Or maybe one or a couple is uh, mm, sick. So, so now what about like if people don't have the opportunity of a house and they have apartment? Mm -hmm. Now, how does that play out where they only have a small balcony and no no right. no yard like how, mm. how, how does that yes yes uh, that's what, when we talk about outside and then we call them inside because the apartment doesn't have a yard right yeah. but apartment have a patio yes they have patio they have a balcony yes they have balcony balcony is mean their yard yeah so if you don't have balcony well, i think mostly apartment have balcony but if a balcony is messy you, you put a lot of clutter over there you put whatever the dark uh pool over there whatever yeah. Kids won't listen to you. Also, your your career will messed up. Wow. Yeah. So if you live in an apartment, you, you have to consider the balcony. Wow. Yeah. So so okay. So like people who have like pools in the garden mm -hmm. and they have um, animals. Mm -hmm. So this obviously is call it causing. It. So is this is this the conflict of energy? Is, is, is that what, what it's causing is the conflict of energy? So you're saying like it's running through. So is that uh -huh. the earth energy running through or is this? Yeah, it's uh, everything is considered in and yang, which because Feng Shui consider uh, which side need to higher, which side is need to talk, uh, lower. Because uh, like I say, I say the backyard is a view, right? which is the backyard is a piece of empty yes and uh, because of, in feng shui backyard have to be higher the front yard you so, so have to be lower or flat so if you, you if you have big swimming pool in the backyard even though you not don't have view but still the swimming pool is big hole okay they carry a lot of water yes. so it's that going down so water is lower so which is the back you don't have back end either because uh, the backyard have big hole if you uh, 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 take a uh, water away. It's big hole right yes. there. So which is uh, most likely uh, you don't feel secure, Correct. especially a uh, housewife. You don't feel secure because back end is for come from if you marry is from husband, right? Yes. If you uh, you if uh, you don't marry, you work if for your from your boss. Correct. So you have big uh, swimming pool in the center of the backyard, which uh, you don't feel secure at all. Correct. Right, you don't want get you won't get support too much. So, so let me ask you, what about animals? How do animals play a part in this? So, if people mm -hmm. have dogs and cats and chickens and right. uh, hamsters, <laughs> yes, how, how does the animal play a part in this? Yeah, pets. Uh, I, a lot of people uh, have dog, have cats, but most likely uh, you have to pay attention. You have to make sure because the uh, living room is the most important is really to people's uh, uh, career. Okay, you don't want to put like uh, put put like pad something uh, in the living room, especially the toy for the pads in the living room. Because okay. uh, as well away from living room, you probably put on side, but you have to keep cleaning. Because, uh, you know, uh, the, especially people living in apartment, the, the energy only weighs from the patio, from mm -hmm. the uh, balcony. If you put on the, uh, you know, you let dog uh, or cat put on the balcony, yeah. which, <laughs> Which uh, is like a restroom. Yes, it, it's like a restroom, and uh, which is the energy coming is a, uh, is bad. So that will affect your uh, career as well. So, okay, so that's like so. So, and so, what about if you have a big garden and you have dogs running out and dogs are outside? So then, does that that way are minor? That way I have no problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. So okay. So like you said, like the 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 living room is like the your career. Mm -hmm. So w what does each room represent then? Yes, yeah, I'm <laughs> going to talk about in oh, okay, interior. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, interior very uh, detailed because uh, the layout uh, is very funny because uh, we just talked about outside, right? Let's yes. get into our uh, inside. Okay. Uh, of course, inside, uh, the front door is uh, very important because uh, uh, feng shui is, uh, have two different, one is visible, okay. one is invisible. Visible is uh, mean the layout. Okay. With the outside layout and inside interior floor plan. And uh, invisible is uh, we calculate the energy. When you build a house, uh, it, for example, it's a sear box. You, when you open the door, then the energy start distributed a different way. Then we have uh, east, we have west, we have north, and we have south, right? So that generally, if, it, if it's just close box, there's no east, west or something. So the energy start distributed. So inside the when you front door, uh, they decided you will get uh, good luck or not good luck. Okay. Yeah, most 
uh, I would say most of rich people, uh, uh, I don't. I don't say uh, rich people. Maybe they, they. Maybe they have a lot of money. Maybe, but the family wise, maybe not very okay. well. Okay. So uh, feng shui, you only carry something. You, if you wanna, everything is peaceful. Like uh, maybe you own a, a little money. You own good family. You own good health. Maybe that's that's good feng shui. Yeah. But uh, some people have a lot of money, but the family uh, or marriage relationship or kids relationship is not good. Okay. So let's talk about the good feng shui. If the good the door on the good spot, on the good direction, which you might get a lot of money. You can you can make a lot of money. And uh, when you go into the door, if uh, you're not living room, you have to pass through a uh, bathroom or something. Okay. Then you will affect your luck. Because mm-hmm. the bathroom in front door, which is very bad energy. So you're saying like if I walk through and I have the bathroom immediately on the right hand side, this is bad, bad feng shui. But now, is, is it like like is it just wealth or money, or is this is the is the layout connected? Like, if I just want to focus on health, mm-hmm. is there a different feng shui for mm-hmm. health versus money? Yeah, health is also is bathroom just in a front door area okay. also will affect the health as well. Okay. But the health most likely we choose the ba- the the kitchen and the bedroom. Because the bedroom, uh, most because uh, people sleep there maybe mm-hmm. seven eight hours, they will affect the house uh, mostly. Because, uh, like I said, we say uh, the house have a different energy distributor. So we can, we can we use compass. We can check the which part is the most house for people. Is, is this that device that you use or, or well, a normal the, compass? Could uh, you use a device no. too, right? Which is like right, right. We have very detailed, big uh, compass. Uh, mostly okay. professional, master, uh, uh, feng shui people use. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, so, so like, uh, so, so this is actually when you're in the bedroom. So now this also includes where your bed is placed, where the window is, where the lights are, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, uh, because uh, like I said, you're a big room. Uh, you have a house, right? Yeah. Uh, you decide where's the master bedroom, maybe on the east or not west. But inside the in, in interior design for the uh, bedroom also very important because, uh, like I said, a lo- most people like to put a bed, you know, behind is a window. Yeah. You know, uh, it's not good because you see the window at the night time. It get uh, is cold Got compared it. to the wall. So your ha- your head will get headache. So with, uh, you you will uh, constantly think it not clearly and uh, you will get sick as well. So so what about like where the window is placed and the light coming in? So obviously mm-hmm. the light has a, a part to play in this too, right? The light. Oh yes, yeah. But basically, uh, more like, uh, compared to living room, the master bedroom or the old bedroom, you should not uh, brighter than living room. Because okay. in, that's in feng shui. Because the living room is supposed to be brighter. Uh, and the bedroom is supposed to uh, uh, a little darker than living room. Uh, why? Because that's what we call the, talk about yin and yang. Okay. Because uh, living room is yang, okay. and a bedroom is yin. Okay. So see, think about if uh, uh, your bedroom have whole day have a sunlight, uh, yeah. then the night time you will think about that still feel like a full of energy. How can you sleep? Yeah. So you should keep them like nice and quiet. So night time is good time to rest. So that that will keep the bedroom the good energy. So, okay, so so like when you say like energy coming in, are you talking about energy from the sun? Energy actually, actually, actually energy is uh, uh, yeah. Basically, the whole Earth is from the sun, but the air flow, the air flow, because uh, I think mostly the major energy from your front door. Okay. Why? Because your door maybe, uh, but this they have uh, the sliding door for the backyard as well. So from the door, from the door. Also, uh, also from uh, of course for the bedroom is from the uh, bedroom. From the bedroom. Door, right. so, so okay, so so this is so the layout is very important, right? On the inside the house of where the bed is next to the window yes. or away from the wall, so that the the like the, the talking about temperature now, mm-hmm. uh, temperature which is controlling the energy. Uh, right. Temperature one thing as well because uh, you feel uh, feel like a, a sun house when you go in, it feel cold. Yes. Some house inside you feel uh, warm. Yes. Uh, especially the winter. Yes. If you go inside a house, if you feel winter, I don't think uh, that's uh, not good because because uh, of our family, a house supposed to uh, keep warm. That's yeah. why I'm saying good energy. Got it. But if you feel uh, even though the winter uh, they feel cold, yeah. which is they probably have too many window, because this they have a, a lot of window facing to window, which is. Uh, sometimes when you open the door, you can see the backyard through the sliding door or through the uh, window. 
Yeah. That's uh, well, that's how my people uh, lose money because of that the airflow come in and go back straight to the backyard. Oh. When I buy a house next time, we're going to have you come around and take a look <laughs> at it before I buy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because right now almost I always say more than fifty percent of the house built like this way. Got it. Because uh, I think builder has you go some training for feng shui. So, do do, uh, do you think that the the like uh, the Western builders are starting to learn about this or, or know about this or they they're interested on on understanding the feng shui of building a house and maybe it's going to bring more wealth to their mm -hmm. construction company if they do this? <laughs> I think that people learn, uh, I, I saw uh, some companies start uh, doing this way, but still, uh, I think most of the construction companies, they still think about the, the budget, yes. the space, you know, they want to fall or uh, uh, something. So hopefully the construction company, they can, uh, or builder, they can learn something, especially interior design people, yes. they know uh, how to uh, uh, learn a little bit feng shui. Uh, good thing my daughter is an uh, interior designer. Oh, so she I is? I keep t <laughs> teaching her, say, hey, <laughs> don't do don't don't do bad design because yeah. you do bad design you uh, you uh, you ruin people's life it, it's a very interesting concept though for a construction company to put feng shui together mm -hmm. and to see the what it develops into i think that's a very fascinating idea right <laughs> right, right exactly I, that would be perfect yeah. really really because uh, my master in taiwan and they keep you know complain the construction company the no, no, a builder, cause designer, uh, cause they did a really bad feng shui. Cause uh, you know, as in Taiwan, most people live in apartment because yes. uh, you know what they do. They are most like uh, most of the apartment is a uh, kitchen in front. Yes. Then go to the living room. And what what does that represent? Having a kitchen in the okay. front. Okay. Kitchen represent wife. Okay. And the uh, living room represent man's career. Oh. So since the living room, uh, the kitchen in the front, which is a uh, Wife have to work harder oh. to make a living, and the husband then, then just relax on the back. Wow! <laughs> so and also another cost. Uh, you think about your wife always keep work hard, and the husband and lazy and maybe lose job. You think marriage will survive? Yeah. Maybe they will lose marriage. Mostly they lose the marriage. Yeah. Because uh, uh, that's what, that was the case. Because uh, when you open the door, you can see the kitchen right there. Yeah. Everybody because they see a stove. Because so if you can see the fire, fire over there, make people angry because of the fire. Yeah. You know, fire is make people angry and also make people uh, lose money as well. Wow. See, that, that's, <laughs> you see, the most of the apartment, you, I, 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 I don't know you see many apartments yet, but most of the apartment, the, 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 the kitchen is front. Yeah, you walk in, the kitchen is right there. And the bathroom is in the front. Uh, yeah, and then you, yeah, on the right hand side is the bathroom. That's, that's right. Exactly, so, and, and everything like this. Yeah. That causes a lot of problems. Wow. Causes a lot of money problem, financial problem, marriage problem. I just uh, come back from one lady, they li uh, live in, uh, I think, the city of uh, uh, Noko. Okay. And the uh, apartment, beautiful, brand new apartment. But when they are not married yet, uh, uh, she and um, uh, her her boyfriend move in three months. They move out because oh. fighting too much. Wow! Oh. Because the living in the kitchen's from. So when I want to get rid of my uh, my wife, my girlfriend, then I just <laughs> get a bad apartment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, the feng shui can set up a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's very interesting. That's very interesting because because yeah. no one no one no one's paying attention. That's what I find very surprising. Uh, because, <laughs> right, this day uh, the knowledge. That's why. Uh, the feng shui, the past is for kin and the rich people or high level people to use. So right. most people don't know because <laughs> the, the kin doesn't want the regular people, the people know because they, if they are stronger than they, then, the, yes. you know, so they keep very secret. That's why the feng shui, this uh, uh, knowledge and this uh, skill is not uh, spread uh, very wide. So do do colors now now like colors of the walls like because mm -hmm. you know I would say Western society would say ah oh, paint this wall blue and paint this mm -hmm. wall pink but Western uh -huh. society is not looking at uh, feng shui into the depth that you're talking about because this is really mm -hmm. even more new information for me like very uh -huh. high level information uh -huh. but is it the the colors of the walls is that is that a part of this too in terms of like what color a wall should be gray mm -hmm. black brown does that make a big difference Yes the color actually. Uh, to make the uh, feng shui uh, uh, more harmony, the color make uh, play a lot of uh, very important role because the color, like say, uh, if you, your uh, your front door is facing north, yes, north is mean water is mean cold. Uh, the water the color is blue and the black. So if your front door you use uh, like a brown color, 
because the, the brown is mean soil. Yes. The soil, earth. Yes. So which uh, you block the the soil, they the, they conflict with water, so which you won't get good luck. Okay, so this is on the brown color, right? Brown facing to deal with. So if you use a, a white color or, or a blue color, you know nobody use black color. Go to go walk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's scary because I don't suggest. Uh, so that way you can can get, get good luck because. Wow. Each direction different. Okay, so it's the color and the direction. Color so if direction, I, if yes. if my door is facing south, what mm -hmm. color should my door be? It, it most likely you can use red and green. Red and green. Wow. Yes. I'm red have, is the heart. I'm hmm. probably going to have to take you with me to go <laughs> buy a house now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This yeah. Also, uh, also a lot of people use a okay, the, uh, if you facing south, you use a red door, right? Okay. But you use a black door mat. Okay. Also, they kill each other. They also, they conflict each other because wow. the water, you know, that will cause <laughs> argument, which is you uh, argument with your husband. I I talked to him, uh, one uh, um, client because, uh, yeah, the the front door color and the doorman color it didn't match. Wow. Didn't match cause the problem. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is very interesting. Yeah. Um, so, wow. like, what about like a commercial? Like when we're doing like like commercial, like we're in a commercial building right now. Okay. Does the same um, requirements, is it the same um, level that has to be kept on a commercial building? So like mm -hmm. we're in a big building right now. Yes. yes. And does that, like obviously the building re business represents, I mean, it's money, right? Is the thing that we're trying to go for yes. or wealth or enrichment of people's exactly. lives. So like, is, is there a way for like the buildings should be? Like how, what about commercial? What would you think a commercial mm -hmm. should be? Yeah, like I said, uh, the building, uh, build, uh, depending on what year the build, uh, the uh, the building that's built was built, okay. and uh, uh, every twenty years different. Okay. So frontal mean good finance. So build uh, the commercial building have to make sure the front door is open in the right space, right direction. Wow. Yeah. Uh, because uh, normally what we major mostly we we ca uh, calculate the door direction, which uh, you have the uh, you have a uh, uh, we we from the office. You don't have to consider the whole uh, like a, a warehouse and everything because. Uh, because everybody work in the office area. Yeah. Then you find the center of the office. Then you can find the where the door located, right? Yeah. Then we can find the door where they're facing to what direction. So we according to every 20 years, the distribution energy different, then we can calculate this door is open a good direction or a not good direction. Wow. 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 Yeah. That's why, you know, uh, you know, a line of a shopping center. Yes. Everybody's door facing this way, right? Yes. But you know, the some door fall open on left, some door fall on the right. That's right. But some business, some retail uh, business is good, some is not bad and uh, not good. Wow. The door opening the which side is very important. And that makes a big difference. Right, that makes a difference. Wow, wow. Yeah. So, so you know, you, you've obviously accumulated a lot of knowledge. Like when you're talking to me, like my mind is like, whoa, I, I <laughs> like, uh, but. Uh, where where did you like where where where, where did you start picking up on this? Where, where were you born? Let's start there. Where? I I born in Taiwan. You're born in Taiwan. Yes. And and when did you come over to the U.S.? In uh, 1991. 1991. Yeah. So, so like uh, when you came over, did, was this knowledge? Were you practicing in Taiwan, or were you aware of this not of of all the feng shui in Taiwan? Like how did you get um how, how did you get to have like be interested in feng shui? Mm. Uh, I've been interested in feng shui because I want to make money fast. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is I that what it was? My, yeah, that's that's my main. Also, feng shui is um, really make uh, my family very peaceful. Yes. Uh, so I I think of accept money. I want my family. I no problem because the feng shui not only bring your harmony uh, uh, family, also avoid a lot of problem. Because uh, that's why I learned from Taiwan and I come to the United States. I practice a lot of real estate. Because I also have a real estate license as Got well, it. so I talk to a lot of family, talk to a lot of mm, uh, client, you know, t uh, teach them how to ch find a good house and how what they need to pay attention to. But uh, uh, so so I think um, one thing I talk about uh, the feng shui to avoid the problem because, for example, your house right there and you're facing a big street yes. in front. Uh, I think uh, everybody heard about that's T Street. That's the uh, Lu Chong. That's not good. Because the big energy facing to you, and uh, which is uh, uh, the house, if they, uh, the house energy is sometimes good, sometimes bad, because the energy is so strong. So once that bad, is a very serious problem. 
maybe people get accident, people get hurt, uh, you know, uh, business, um, you know, I have problem. Wow. Yeah. So, so like, but where did you, where did you like uh, first hear about this? Like, mm -hmm. is it your family, your, your family, your parents were talking oh, about uh, this? In Taiwan, uh, the, uh, the feng shui is very popular. Oh, okay. So you were aware, but as, as a kid, would, you, right, would uh, they right. say to you, hey, you must follow the feng shui practices? Like, what would they my say? My parent, no. My parent is uh, uh, Catholic. Okay. So uh, I, I was Catholic before. Also, I always believed it. Uh, but but uh, some people, come, you know, come, come, uh, mix uh, religion with feng shui. It's different. Yes. Because your believing is, is, is good. Every religion is good. But the feng shui is different. If... How many, no matter how you uh, you believe anything, but feng shui is still happen to you. Wow. Good feng shui, bad feng shui still happen to you. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so so like so you do this. So you do this for other people, right? So you mm -hmm. people call you and they tell you to uh, I'm buying a house or I need to fix. How, how do they say it to you? I need to fix the feng shui in my house. Yes, they uh, they want a uh, feng shui uh, uh, a arrangement or, or different uh, like layout. They want because they uh, they want to improve their life. They want to, uh, they, they always have problem, so they call me. So uh, I kind of like a house doctor. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> house doctor, it. so kind of uh, uh, arrange for them. Wow. Yeah, I improve. So, so so when they when they come to you and you so when you go in there and you see the bathroom is right by the door and you see that the the kitchen is right and you tell them, hey, your life is like this, and this is how we're going to fix your life. Is that how you? Yeah. When I go into the house, I will always know what happened. Uh, either have the family or uh, have uh, like argument issue, like a, uh, a parents argument. Because most likely uh, the kitchen in this day always have uh, the stove right here and yeah. the, water, the sink right here, just uh, right opposite each other. Oh, the sink and the stove being opposite also makes a difference? Make a couple of argument a lot, um, wow. even divorce. Wow. Right, that's a major problem. Because this day, you know, the fancy house, the big house, they all, they all build this way. Yeah. Yeah, no. yeah, they are built this way. They are built this way because <laughs> they cause fighting. I uh, one uh, one customer I I went to. I say you build this way. Uh, they, they, he uh, and uh, every time when husband go to the kitchen and the uh, wife is getting mad because uh, 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 I say why she say she, she doesn't know. Yeah, yeah uh, every time husband want to help her, he's he's just kind of start mad. Yeah. Uh, I told him very simple. You just put like a, a green doormat uh, on the floor, green color. Wow. You need some green color between the fire and the water. It, she did it. Wow. And a couple of weeks later, I talked to her. Uh, she said, wow, I don't know why. Husband comes come to the kitchen. I don't feel angry anymore. Wow. <laughs> yeah. He's even cooking now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, so so that that's a uh, color. Wow. It's uh, uh you know the uh the make the uh th this area of harmony because the uh in feng shui have five different elements so if the element they work each other there's yeah. no problem. Wow. Uh -huh. So okay, you you know like uh like with this light now light coming through the windows so like light is um like evil spirits that come in mm -hmm. how does this play a part in this mm -hmm. because this is obviously different than the direction but now they say that this keeps the evil spirits out mm -hmm. how, how does this work? Yeah, window uh, also play a very important role because uh, we, we want a living room brighter. So if the living room is too dark, uh, we should uh, no energy. Because uh, uh, we, we just talk about living room, it, it represents a career, right? Yes. So living room got to be, is uh, uh, have a bright. So window play a role because you, you won't able to open the door, right? Yes. Uh, or some, some people, uh, the door have window. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Some people, the door have a window they can open, and uh, that's like uh, uh, lost money. Because a door you cannot, uh, because door is blocked any and uh, let the energy in. Yeah. If you consistent the window, uh, people can see inside without open the door. Which is the people can watch you how much you have then steal your money. Wow. <laughs> so I keep talking uh, tell uh, my customer, hey, the, you have to pay attention to the front door because. Front door is the most important. Front door almost like ninety eight percent more important feng shui than the house inside. Wow. Yeah, it's very important. And, and, and this is like okay, so you're saying like the window. If the window is there, then uh, people will see what you have, and money will go back out through the door. Right. Because see, they stay outside. They can see what you have. Right. Yeah. That's a mean people stealing your. 
So, so what's a so go- would you have backstabbers problem? So, 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 oh, th- that's what they would have backstabbers. So, so what's a what's a good front door to have? Front door basically is solid, have to solid and and clean, because uh, uh, you don't want to uh, too many scratch or dirty or something. So, front door is very important. Yeah, as long as it's clean and square. Of course, I uh, or like said the uh, the color. Yes. You know, depending on which direction, so wh- what color door you should have. That's uh, important too. Uh, Wow, that's that's really f- fascinating. Like that's really um, th- very new for me. Like this is very very new. Nice. I didn't realize that the front door represents such a um, important factor. And the fact you're saying it's like ninety eight ninety eight percent. It's uh, the way, way it begins. Yes. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> front door is a very important modern. Yeah. Wow. Mm-hmm. Um, so so when you when you're doing this with people like um you know you told one story of somebody's life changing like do you ever have the stories of when people's lives have changed with stuff that you've changed that are very obvious like the green mat is there more stories yeah i tell one story of uh, uh, my first customer in the united states i went to their house they live in the uh, uh, city of uh i think uh torrance yeah in the uh, it's a apartment so when we go in is a, a couple i need to go into the the front, they always go into the front of the back door. Yes. The, the front door uh, is because they part of the car in the back, so they go in. Yeah. In the living room, I, I when I go there, I didn't know what happened, but I told them uh, what's gonna happen because uh, they have a staircase in the living room. Okay. And uh, uh, I say the staircase affect your husband, the career, and the house as well. The staircase because the big staircase. Uh, so I say you you need to do some. Um, you need to cover the staircase. Oh, you do some uh, uh, like a remodeling, which you, you can build a wall, or you can use uh, some kind of uh, uh, a screen to yeah. block the. Oh, uh, you know what she did? She used a curtain. She, she used a curtain to block the staircase. To block the staircase. So when you uh, living right here, you don't see the staircase. Oh. You know what happened? Because uh, 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 like uh, two weeks later, uh, she called me. She say, "Hey, my." Husband not sick anymore, cause uh, cause her husband had three months cannot go to bathroom. Yeah. Wow. Cause uh, cannot go to, and she uh, get, uh, is well right now. So 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 the internal portion of the house is affecting his health. Uh, yeah. Living room not only for, uh, for career also represents the men's uh, health as well. Wow. Yeah, like I said, if your kitchen right here, you have a living room right here, you don't have divider. When 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 uh, your, your wife cook, everything yeah. is a kitchen. Everything, yeah. everything kitchen. So so like <laughs> so the, you don't have yeah. So like those open floor plans. When you walk in and there's mm-hmm. nothing, and all you see is living room, kitchen, mm-hmm. everything. W- 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 yeah, that, uh, yeah. Especially that uh, uh, for small apartment or small uh, house. You know the big house is okay because the big house the 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 uh, they have an open kitchen on the back. Yeah. But a small house when you go in, maybe living room, uh, dining, uh, dining and the kitchen. When you're walking, you can see the kitchen. Uh, that definitely affect the man's career, because uh, when you walk in, you can see the kitchen, which, which is uh, yeah. the money already be watched. People already can see uh, how much money, because the kitchen is uh, replacing people's uh, money. So when you go in, you don't want people to see your kitchen, wow. especially you don't want to see people how you cooking. Have you ever walked into a house and you say, "This is so bad, knock the house down." <laughs> 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 yeah, I know, uh, uh, but because some uh, so customers say, uh, I probably better move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because like I said, when you're telling me now, and I'm saying, oh my God, is my door, do I have a window? Do I have a little window? The door has a scratch. <laughs> <laughs> no, because because that's uh, the builder. Yeah. Because uh, 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 I'm going to, uh, you know, um, I would say, don't follow builders' uh, uh, the design. Okay. Because, uh, you know, uh, a lot of design is bad design because when you, uh, especially uh, uh, people say, hey, that, uh, that's the wall and the TV, right? I just put TV right there. Yeah. Then they put the uh, sofa right here. And sofa behind the sofa is a window. Yes. Yeah. Sofa behind uh, behind the sofa, you, if you have window, you have backstabbers problem. You have, uh, you, you, all people always uh, set you up. So, because they say, hey, uh, that's, the, that's the outlet over there. I just put TV right there. So yeah. I see it here. Yeah. Hey, the builder doesn't know feng shui, so that's why I teach you. You need to know feng shui because you have to put over there. Because, uh, for example, you you see right here and you watch TV, and you the window right there. 
don't you see the reflection from the wind all the time? It's, yeah. not, it's not clear enough, right? Yeah. If you pull over, the, you see right there and the wall right there. So you have bacon over there and the TV right here. So it's perfect. You see, anytime you watch TV, is right? Yeah. It's clear. Don't no, uh, w- no no window of reflection at all. Yeah. So 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 I would say don't follow uh, the, the, the 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 design. Don't follow the uh, builder. Yeah. You have you gotta know uh, what's good feng shui, not what's not. So so initially this started in in, in for yourself, right? Mm-hmm. And and now you you're doing it for other people. What made you want to help other people doing this? Like why did you say, oh, you know what? I should teach him because nobody knows. Like what mm-hmm. what, what made you want to help other people? Oh, I, I think uh, teaching people uh, learn this kind of is good deed. I want to do good deed. I want to, I want to, actually I do feng shui is try to help people. Yeah. Right, I try to help people because I want to see, uh, I know uh, most of people doesn't know feng shui. Yeah. So I, uh, uh, so I want to help them. Yeah. So so now, how, how did you how did you uh, even learn the feng shui? Like how, how, mm-hmm. what, do you go, did you go into training for this? Like how did this come to you? Oh, because like I said, Taiwan, the knowledge and the teacher is very popular. Okay. Uh, yeah, even have a college. They, they have college for right, just in for Taiwan, right. My master right now have a college right now. Wow. Right. So so is there a lot of people that go and say, because it, does, is, is Taiwan um, still very traditional versus mm-hmm. every, every like over here in America, we believe, you know, we're modern, modernized, modernized, modernized. But is Taiwan very traditional even with the younger generation? Yes. Yes, so, very popular, right? Oh. Uh, I think uh, I think uh, Southeast Asia, uh, Malaysia, Philippines is also very popular as well, right? Taiwan is very uh, popular because Taiwan have uh, uh, a lot of temple. Yes. Uh, p- people pray, worship, but also uh, they believe feng shui as well. Uh uh-huh. so China, yeah, the two China. China. Mm-hmm. So, so like with the with the temples, let's say the temples over there, do they use the the feng shui? In the temples, like to mm-hmm. where they're positioning the temples, do they use? Is this a part of it? I mean, I'm uh, just wondering if we went to that that level of temples taking feng shui and putting that into what they're doing. Yeah, temple. You know, people worship over the yeah. different uh, god in the temple, right? Yeah. And because uh, of some feng shui energy, like this black stone, yes. the crystal over there. Yes. When you put this uh, crystal in some position, you have to pray. You have to do a feng shui ceremony. Uh, what do you do? You have to bring this one to the to the temple and on the top of the incense you have to do three times mm-hmm. and you have to pray you have to tell the god what you want to do and i hope that the, you know give a blessing and when you bring home well wow. mm-hmm. so so like you know like we, we have crystals around and people have different crystals for different reasons mm-hmm. so with with the crystals do crystals play a part in feng shui yes the, the yes we use a lot of crystal to get rid of bad energy interesting yes wow yeah. I, I didn't realize crystals was a part of this too. <laughs> yeah, like a crystal have a different angle than a crystal, like yeah. chandelier, they have different angle that time, uh, crystal. You know, when when people, uh, why uh, sometimes uh, fam- uh, parents, uh, you know, uh, cannot get along with their kids uh, because uh, sometimes the bedroom, the door is facing the door. Then we use the crystal between the door. They can get rid of bad energy, so they can get get along better. So, like, if the the parents' bedroom and the kids' bedroom are facing, then this is where they have a conflict, right? Wow. Because of the door facing the door. Door in feng shui represent mouse. They talking out, right? It's fighting each other. What, what if you have two kids' doors facing each other? Will they? they, they yeah, they, they fight conflict? each other. They don't get along with each other. Interesting. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, and so, so what does the crystal do then? So the crystal is absorbing the energy or reflecting the energy. If you hand the crystal in between the door, which is they generate a different angle of the energy. So that when the door facing facing, they will uh, separate that fighting energy. Wow. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's, uh, I mean, really, this is really blowing my mind right now. Because <laughs> <laughs> I never, I, I, I knew the feng shui and I knew the very basics. I didn't understand that it was such a, there's so such deep layers mm-hmm. of where this is, like of how it reflects your life, the kitchen, the bathrooms, uh, even the doors reflecting. That's pretty pretty amazing. Like it really is, is surprising me. <laughs> yes, yes. So that's the every uh, most of every house I go to, all, uh, at least twenty problems. Do, do you yeah. find like with your with your kids that they they are following the feng shui? Like you know, with what you obviously you've you've been doing this now for how many years have you been doing this? More than twenty five years. Twenty five. Yeah. And, and have your kids? when they do everything now, do they follow the path of the feng shui or do you feng shui them? 
<laughs> uh, I fall asleep at first, but every time they, because uh, uh, every time they want to do something, yeah. my kid even help the, uh, uh, the, uh, their friend. Oh, do they really? Right. <laughs> they say, hey, my, my friend want to rent an apartment and or something, uh, the apartment have bad luck. Uh, yeah. she, right, he sent me the drawing. I said, hey, how do they lay out the bed? How do they lay out the desk? Yeah, wow. Yeah. So, so, you know, like even, let's say schools. Mm -hmm. So obviously now, like when you take school and the school is, um, do, do you believe that like schools have feng shui um, correct of like what school is going to be successful mm -hmm. and what school, I'm just talking about like a general high school, middle school. Mm -hmm. Does that make a big impact on? Oh, yes. That yes. Uh, school is the same thing like big shopping center. A big uh, yeah, which is the the front gate, oh. or front gate where they open to, and when the school was built, and then we we decide which the gate where the located is better, right? The big shopping center the same, if it's the the entrance, they don't have gate right? Yeah. The big, the, but the entrance if they open on this entrance, which uh, they would decide you. This disruption is successful or not successful. So when you walk into a building and or uh, or a house. I, I, by just seeing this stuff that you're seeing, are mm -hmm. you already feeling? Um, are, are you feeling what what needs to be done here? So when you walk to a business, you say, "Hey, this business is losing money because it's got a glass door." <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, I go to a restaurant all the time, right? So yeah. I always, my kids are always say, "Hey, how's Feng Shui?" Yeah, did they ask <laughs> you this? <laughs> yes, yes, so, yeah. When I go in, most likely because in United States, very uh, simple, very simple. Not like uh, China or uh, Asia, because the apartment every angle. Every yeah. angle different, yeah. but here is like square, yes. south, north, you know, yeah. the same. So when I go to the building, I already know because most of it is south. All those energy distributed in already in my mind. I don't e even need to use compass. Wow. Yeah. So so let me, let me so the, but you know this compass now. I I've seen this compass and it's it's very big. Right. Right. Big, bigger is more accurate. So so even even with this this big compass, um, mm. uh, and it's not like a compass which is just north, south, east, west. What does that compass represent? And we're going to pull mm. a picture up on the screen afterwards. But what what does that compass uh, represent? Like, mm. uh, it's the compass actually is uh, like you say. Uh, I say the feng shui from past. Uh, uh, they they put a lot of memory because they cannot remember so many things. Okay. So they they ca they, they capture a lot of uh, things on the compass. So when they move to the direction, they have a uh, what year and what's the th good thing or the bad energy good energy over there. So this is like a memorized on the compass. So, so, so like, let's say this building is built in 1982 mm -hmm. and, and on the compass, you would see the positioning of where it was the year and this would actually tell you what the building would represent? Yes, most likely if they use a compass, they even remember all those. But this day we very simply because the compass, uh, not only uh, to measure the direction, also uh, they were sensitive to the energy. Like say, you, if you bring the uh, compass to a house, a bad energy, which you maybe have an evil spirit in there. The the the, the needle is shaken. The needle shake? Right. The needle, the center needle, the shaken. They're very unstable. So 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 you're seeing it. So right. so now, if if this is a situation, mm -hmm. what, what would you do? Oh, which you, you have to do something to. If you want to get rid of it, you have to do some thing to solve the problem. But but now to 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 solve a problem like this, are you moving? The how like the changing the door, changing the color of the door. Is it that type of stuff? Like uh, no, no. Uh, normally we use uh, uh, salt mixed with uh, rice water. Salt and rice water. Right, and you spray on the air. Oh, uh, to get rid of the bad energy. And what is this? What is, so this just because the, because the ghost they are afraid of salt because when you spray the salt on the body, they burn. It's it's interesting because like in the Indian culture, when they had actually do rituals to clear rooms, mm -hmm. they would put salt around the windows. Yes, salt is a get rid of bad energy, and rice water is to feed them. Yeah, you don't want to hurt them only. You want to feed them. You want to get away. You put on the corner, which is a clean the house. Yeah. But each corner when you move in, you should do that. You should do the clean the house rule, which is, uh, you know I hope that they bracing you don't hurt you. So you have to do some clean the house. To make so is this like when people do the, um, when they do the smoke, you, mm -hmm. you know, well, I've forgotten the name of it, but it's that smoke that they're trying to do. Is this, this is trying mm -hmm. to do something similar, right? Yeah, similar. Okay. Similar. Wow. Yeah. So uh, many different ways, not only this way. Yeah. How many times have you walked into a place where you feel the needle moving? <laughs> do you normally run when you see the needle? <laughs> no, not too many times, because uh, mostly house, 
not 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 Taiwan have a lot of house like that because yeah. uh, what we call uh, uh you know people are so uh kill themselves inside the house oh, okay. yeah that's that's a uh, advantage but United States uh, have, uh, people are uh, most of the very peaceful not too many temple around yes so the energy pretty much stable so you know it's, it's funny because like in England our houses are I can't remember from England but the houses are very old mm. very old and right. uh, the house was built in 19, uh, 18 maybe they have basements yeah, <laughs> yeah 1860 1800s and yes. then they, uh, the house looked modern on the outside but they're yes, very yeah. set in their ways uh -huh. you know there, there's like um just seeing like stuff that you know would happen as a child and you mm. see spirits in the house or feel spirits in the house uh -huh. like n no one would tell you about this type of stuff you know we we try to just watch movies and tv shows trying to understand this uh -huh. but no one really um no one knows what you're supposed to do <laughs> <laughs> right besides right. run <laughs> right 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 i have a lady uh, call me uh, he, uh, he lived like maybe uh semi valley because uh, he had she deal with that park kind of problem she did i told her what you should do uh-huh i i don't know if she did it or not but but you don't go in there and just do it for everybody oh uh, basically you? i didn't personally I, I didn't deal with okay. any case like that okay uh, <laughs> but i do this one to help people sell house oh okay yeah because of, you know uh, when people live there for a long time they start moving in they want to sell the house yes even buyer come in they feel the energy different than then they yes. feel they conflict each other yeah the field is not their energy so if i use the, the way so water a uh, saw and rice water spray on each corner outside inside because it was empty right they will get rid of, they will make the house uh, the energy the central neutral interesting so okay so then when you walk mm. into a house you feel good and you go oh you know what i can live in this house versus having mm. the old energy there right and, and now you're conflicting with the old energy right because you because the original energy, if it don't go away, it's very hard to get the new buyer by your house. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's interesting. Wow. No, and, and these things, it's funny because you, no one thinks about these things when they're doing this. That's what I find very... Because it's a high secret. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's a secret, <laughs> yeah, of the kings. Yeah, it's a king. Yeah, that's why, yeah. It's, uh, uh, like I said, the most uh, successful people have good feng shui. Yeah. But it's not necessarily they hire professionals to help them. Because sometimes the people already is lucky enough. They're born rich family, they born uh, right. They don't uh, so they have everything. Uh, but to for people successful, uh, uh, they have to have uh, a good feng shui. Um, you, when we're going in, like let's say there's war in the world, mm -hmm. is there a feng shui with the war? Like let's say two countries are old, old and armies are fighting each other. Is there feng shui and saying we must fight from the south? Mm -hmm. and wear red clothes or blue mm -hmm. clothes is, is, is this a part of it too or, or this wouldn't play a part in it i'm just being curious the war why this day uh, so many feel like a war is gonna be star or something yeah. because uh, uh, every uh that's why you can every 20 years different every 20 years so because right now is a uh, uh, number eight lock is a uh, is a 2004 to two, uh, 2023 okay. so this 20 years is number eight number eight is mean uh, uh, and uh, after 2020, uh, uh, start from 2024, is uh, number nine lock. Number nine means war, the fire. Because nine is, uh, I mean, uh, the fire element is fire. Okay. So which is we have more, more, more war. Coming in 2024? Right. Wow. After 2024. Yeah. So, so like, what's so, so some of the basic stuff, like, you know, people who are just living their lives, is this stuff that you would tell them in terms of like um, being more in aligned with themselves? Like, what would you tell people? Mm -hmm. Like, if like just normal people, you tell them, hey, uh, when you go to your house, do this. Is, is this some basic, simple stuff that you tell people just to do? Yeah, uh, like I said, when you go to the house, uh, most likely they have a lot of problems. I tell them how to avoid the problem. For example, when you go in the door, you see the bathroom right there, what you can do. Uh, what the most simple way uh, uh, is put a, like a, a doorway curtain yeah. to block it. People say, "Hey, well, can I just close the door?" Because uh, close the door, people the uh, bad energies come out. It's still not uh, quick enough. If you have a doorway curtain, you go in, they drop right away. So the the original they will separate the bad energies come in. But still, the door, uh, the bathroom in the around the uh, entrance area, still not a good idea because if you see the whole floor plan, yes. the bathroom still right there. So it's, it's not still not a good idea. 
So even if you have a fake wall, it's very f- you can't see nothing. This would right. change it. That then, would right? change that. That then. would change it. That would change mm-hmm. also. Yeah. Would change it. Also, you you should keep the bathroom uh ni- nice and clean. If you don't have to use the bathroom, it's better, right? Wow. Uh, but of course, construction is better. Wow. But it costs money. This is really going to change my mind when I'm getting a house now. Like really, I can tell you that I'm going to be over analyzing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but you, I think you're successful. <laughs> you know, everything. So, uh, yeah, no, I mean, my lack of the feeling because most of the stuff I do. But you know, feeling. rich people want the most success. So uh, even though you find, because uh, you know, uh, well, a lot of people make a lot of money, then yeah. they start thinking about changing a uh, house. Yes. But sometimes the, the other house maybe is bad feng shui, so they bring them down. Oh. So you need to be very careful. Okay. So, uh-huh. so definitely bring you then when I'm getting <laughs> the house. <laughs> um, yeah, no, it makes you very ne- like it actually when I when I'm overthinking that because normally it's it's normally by feeling, right? With me, it's always been like, oh, right. this feels good, this feels good, it feels good. I always trust my my feelings right. more than my head. Right. So if it feels right, and even though I'm in the wrong place, I say, okay, if, if felt- you're lucky enough, that's okay. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> yes, uh-huh. but sometimes they say uh, when you like you say this uh, couple of years you make a pretty good money and like, you have good luck, and when you this day you go find a house, most likely you can find a good house. Most likely, yes. yeah. <laughs> um, wow, that, wow! This has really been very mm. opening for me. Like I, I, I've, I've learned a lot. Actually, this has been. Um, mm. Roger, I want to thank you very much for um, no sharing, and this has been uh, amazing. Yeah. And well, if you're okay, we'll put your details up so people will contact you if they need to um, find house or okay. uh, get rid of the spirits. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay, <laughs> Roger, thank you very much for thank coming, you. Roger. I thank you for your. Bye. Thank you. Bye.